PS Academy. I'm your host Istvan, digital marketer and marketing automation specialist. And today I'll be showing you how to set up your Facebook ads account with proper billing. Now this is really important for every business, but especially in the European Union, you need to properly introduce your business information into your ad account in order to get the correct invoices, which you can ulteriorly run through your business. If you don't do this setup, then the invoices that Facebook generates won't be usable by a business that is in the European Union. So pay close attention. This is really, really important. Whether you're a small business or you're a business running the ads for yourselves, or even if you're an advertising agency, you'll need to do this procedure in order to get the correct bills. If you're new to digital marketing or you're just brushing up on your skills, keep watching. Currently we're running a video series on Facebook marketing, but later on we'll be talking about everything that's digital marketing, I'll be showing you tips and tricks and sharing my own experiences with you. If you've enjoyed today's content, make sure you give us a thumbs up, you click on that subscribe button and you ring the notification bell. It helps us a lot. So let's talk a little bit about how billing works on the Facebook advertising platform. So once you're running your ads, of course, Facebook will start charging your payment method. Now your payment method could be a couple of things such as PayPal, a credit card, or maybe even your bank account directly. And of course, these charges, they will generate invoices. Now, if you're a business and you're running these uh, invoices through your accounting, mo in most countries, the invoices also need to contain your business information. This is especially true about businesses in the European Union. So in order to have your business information on these invoices, you'll of course need to tell uh, Facebook about your business and give it the business information. So let's actually jump into our Facebook ads account and see how we can do this. So over here, I have my uh, Facebook business manager open. This is the one we created for PS Academy. And I'll go to ad account settings right over here. All right. And once I'm over here in ad account setup, I will go to open payment settings. Now, this is where you set up everything that's related to payments. Here you'll see your current bar balance, which is zero lay for us at the moment. You can set up an account spending limit, which means that if you set this limit up, uh, once you're running ads, at the moment the ads have accumulated a total cost or total spend of the limit you set up, they will automatically stop until you increase this limit. Uh, we have payment methods over here and of course this is where you can add your payment method. You just simply click over here and you choose what kind of payment method you want to add. And as you can see over here it is already telling you about business and tax information. It's talking about currency as well. But before we get into that let me just show you that we have this business info box down here. Now, if you click on edit in this business info box, it will take you to a screen where you can actually set up everything Facebook needs to know about your business in order to give you the correct invoices. So let's actually do that. I'll be adding the business information for Pixel Solutions, our advertising agency, into this ad account. So over here at business name, we will go by our business's legal name, which is this. Now we'll have to add the street address of our business. There's a second address line of course, city, state or province, the zip code, and the billing country or region. Now this is default selected in Romania for me. Of course, if you're from a different country, you might have another default, but of course you can also select it. Now I'll leave Romania since our business is based in Romania. And now we have a question relating advertising purpose. And if you look over here, we have two options. Yes, I am buying ads for business purposes or no, I'm not buying ads for business purposes. Now, of course, most ads will be for business purposes. 
Um, so we'll have this selected. If you're buying ads not for business purposes, then of course you can just select no. And now here comes the important part, the EU VAT number. As I said, uh, in the European Union, it is pretty much obligatory to have your uh, VAT number, which is value added tax number on your invoices in order to be able to add them to your accounting. So if you're from the EU, you'll be need, you need to select your country code. Um, so over here, I'll be selecting RO and of course the VAT number, which is this. Awesome. And this is a pretty good check over here. So if it gives you a green light, you probably added it correctly. Of course, also double check because this is really, really important because if you don't have this on your invoices, uh, you won't be able to add them to your accounting. And another thing, once your invoices are already uh, out, so maybe you forgot to add this information in and you've ran some ads, Facebook invoiced you. Well, unfortunately, you can't change those invoices anymore. So make sure that you add this business information even before you start running your ads because it might be too late once you've already ran them for a day or two. And now also very important currency and time zone. Of course, uh, it, the currency is important because you want to be billed in the currency that your payment method it, is in generally. And the time zone is also important, of course, for the actual things that go on in the ad account and not necessarily payment. But this is still the same. It's still set up over here uh, in your business information. So I'll just save this. And as you can see over here in this business info box, it gives me the, the information that will be displayed on my invoice. Now let's actually add a payment method. I'll click on add payment method. Now location is correct. Business and tax info correct because we just set it up. If we'd want to change this, we can click on edit over here. And of course, the debit or credit card is selected. This is the default payment method in Romania. In other countries, you might have other possibilities such as your direct bank account for direct debit or maybe even PayPal. So I'll just select this, click on next. And now this is pretty basic. If you've ever done online shopping, it's the same over here. You just enter the details of your card. So as you can see over here, I added the card details off screen and it appeared in my payment methods section over here as my primary payment method. So you might be asking yourself, what is a primary payment method? Well, it's the payment method that is the first to be charged whenever Facebook wants to take your money. So you can have a lot of payment methods in your account, but only one of these methods will be the actual primary payment method. That's the one that will be always charged the first whenever you're, you get a charge from Facebook. Now let's actually go and see what invoices we have. So in order to do that, I'll just revert back to uh, my ad account or simply click on business tools over here and go to the billing section. And over here in the billing section, you'll see all your invoices. Now this account doesn't actually have any invoices. Uh, and there's an outstanding balance of zero lay. So I'll go to another ad account over here. And in this one, you see, we have a whole couple of invoices. So here you'll see the status, you'll see how much was invoiced, which payment method was used to pay for the invoice, the date, even a transaction ID, in case you want to bring up uh, an invoice with Facebook support, you'll be using this transaction ID and the VAT invoice ID and so on and so forth. And you, of course you can download your invoices here. Now I already downloaded one of these invoices and uh, this is what it looks like, right? So it's an invoice for Pixel Solutions. It gives you the account ID. It gives you the date of the invoice, which payment method was used to pay for it. Of course, the total. It even breaks it down for what kind of uh, ads spent the budget for the, this invoice. And over here at the bottom, on the left-hand side, you'll see Facebook's uh, business information. And on the right-hand side, you see your own business information. And if you have this on the right-hand side, it means you've correctly introduced your business information and you can use this invoice in your accounting, especially if you're an EU business. That's it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if this information was helpful. 
I hope I saved you a lot of trouble regarding Facebook invoices. If you like the content, show us some love and share this video with another marketer. And I'll see you next time with more tips and tricks, Facebook marketing insights, and everything that is digital marketing.